three-game series between the Padres and the Philadelphia. Boy, I've never been more excited for a weather report ever because we can let you know they're fanatic. I think um, a little bit jealous of the attention. He is, and uh, who fourth career start, fifth appearance against the Padres. And if you remember, Zach Eflin, Zach Wheeler, or there in center field, and he makes the catch for the first. On this 4th of July, looks like this. Andrew McCutcheon in left for in right. On the infield, Alec Bohm at third. At second base, Segura. Hoskins at first. Where when I go to the store out and about town? Hit him in the air and do some damage that way. As play, another extra base hit for Fernando Tatis Jr. That is a one-out. What happens? You do the tut twist. And Bohm near the bag makes the catch. And on the ninth pitch, man back at the wall, gonna go. Mach Machado swing, foot down, hands back, drive it. Vetti swaggy. Gonna take it off after the moment. What, what's the ruling on that? Hello left, and McCutcheon calls off everybody to make the catch. Blake Snell, 28 year old, making a 16th start. He's had 11 games, batting 327 in 53 games this season. But prove to me you can hit it. Back here comes Profar, oh. and it falls between them. Yeah, you know what? No communication. Profar. Better now, fielder hitting 229 with 13. Little tapper. Blake's got a chance for two. That's one. Strike to just get him. And clear. Real Muto with two outs, nobody on. Running game. A lot of base runners. Field for uh, base hit, Real Muto. Got him. Sing it, Mark. <laughs> Music to his ears. Snell strikes. To make it to the big leagues in itself is an amazing feat, but. It's going to be on the fastball. Like that. First strike out of the day for Velasquez. This goal. If you got a couple, like, files. Yeah, the nail file was always interesting. And the Kirk Padres third hit of the day. Oh yeah. Cotton candy. And I think it's appropriate going into today's game. Padres are first in base. Paraphrasing Jefferson. Just bounces that one to Torres. That's one and that's a double play. The last time the Padres won timeout. You know he just realized it wasn't going the way he wanted it. His hardware that he has won you know the Cy Young one. Oh my goodness. The old front foot breaking ball. Yeah, something like 35 to 41. Hosmer lets it drop. They will get the foot. So that time they let it fall intentionally. Yeah, you said it right immediately. That is ball four to Williams. So a hit batter. The numbers in 35 games for Torres, 261. And right at Manny, that is one. And that is the second double play that the Padres. He's going retro. Yeah, you can't accuse me of being a Johnny. This major league hit earlier this season against the Giant. And second of his career. And a leadoff single for Tommy has been much, much better at right at the third baseman. Today is double play day at Citizens Bank Park. So two outs and the base is empty for Fernando Tatis Jr. And it misses ball four. So the first Manny would be next. Tatis runs, pitch misses, the throw is not. No, as gets in safely there because he never. Ball four. And all of a sudden, those walks that we told you the last. And Machado hits it in the air to deep left field. Yeah. He. Grisham on the ground to Hoskins at home and abroad. If you're a Padre fan, especially this part of the ball game, Manny Machado five the thematic out up there, but right at Tommy Pham. Petco has a, a great selection. It's where the pets go. Sends that one to Manny. That is where ground balls go. Really? Yeah, guy could be 50-50, but he's rolling double play. Ball four. Second walk.
gets there to make the play and end the inning. So a two-out walk does not hurt Blake. Full day today in Philadelphia, and thank goodness for that. Osmer chops that one into the ground. Segura was the same discipline at bats. He chases at a very low rate. I think for the Padres. Oh, the far stays hot. One out single in the. Well, you know, fouling off pitches, taking pitches, and working that count. Runner for the number eight hitter, catcher Webster Rivas. Slow roller. And going to try and turn another double play. And how about that? They do. The city, not the school. Got him. There's that breaky ball I was just talking about. Blake, are you able to figure out which 14 year old? Reese Hoskins, who was hit by a pitch his first time, he is able to lay off the curve and draw a walk. Christian Yelich. Number 23. That's a good draft. And uh, the walks have been there pretty much every time out. There's another, his fourth, and now makes a lot of sense. And now 36, a big one. Does right here. Right over the top of it. Four big league games. And uh, this year, most of the season. And that nasty breaking ball in the dirt kicks away on. Oh, didn't get down, trying to pick it like a first. Right at Fernando Tatis Jr. and the inning is over. So Snell works. People might lock in on, understandably, including Jace Tingler. Game. Got him. Yeah, guys, some unfortunate news for CJ Abrams. The Padres. Three years ago, Fernando hurt himself, missed the rest of the season. Worked out okay. I, and I know it was spring training, but still, you know, a ground ball in spring training. Is what a nice little piece of hitting. Fernando aboard safely for the third. Their field and he'll get down in front of McCutcheon. Tatis is on his way to third and he's there because he is a superior yes. defensive second baseman. On the ground and that's a fair ball. Hoskins will end the inning. He's got five runs to work with here as we uh, enter the uh, part of that first slider from Adams. And a Sosmer makes the catch. Innings pitched. If you're a league leader in, ER, in uh, innings pitched, and you're Cutch and drew one of those four walks. The Blake Snell is not running. And Hard hit grounder to Manny. Could it be six? It is unbelievable. Osmer Uto will make the play. What we have seen today. Each team is grounded into three double. A for Jerks in Profar. Most recent was back on May 21st against the Mariners. Profar started to run, goes back, and Rivas strikes out. Just the third. 67 games to start his big league career, five deep into games. And that's right down the middle, strike three call. So we'll go to the bottom. And he works down in the zone, yes, some swings and misses. And some. That's in the air to deep right field, aiming for the pole. Gonna go. Away to a right-handed hitter, especially in a ballpark like Harper trying to bunt Stam and fields his position really well, though, and he takes getting paid an awful lot of money. And uh, yeah, I think the fans without an official at bat today, a couple of plate appearances. Yeah, that is a fair ball in the corner, kind of kicked around by Profar. That might cost the Padres. He goes to third on the error by Jerks and Profar. Got him. Ninth pitch of the at bat is strong. Perfect. Oh, and that should end the inning. Cronenworth to Hosmer. And the fifth. Eight strikeouts in four and two third. Got him. Just another day for Fernando. And another. Threw some love for Freddie Galvis. As Cronenworth shoots that one out to left center field, he's got hits in his last two with two homers and two intentional walks. On the ground the other way, and it rolls right to Miller. He'll just take the force hit third base, and we have... ...at the big league level, and let the front office kind of see what they have. And yeah, you've got the Pagans of the world. To left, Tommy Pham is there, one down. But first of all, you can never have too much pitching. Pitching depth. Third straight gets this one right to Hosmer. Pagan finds it and he can't. Side a little bit. And then the flip.
Ground ball to Manny. No. To second for one. Yes. And the seventh double play of the game. Guys, thank you very much. The first place Giants for their part. And uh, grounded towards the shift. A dive by Segura. But no. It's like you said, he read the moment perfectly from the get-go. Singled in the second. Singled in the fourth. Singled in the sixth. In fact, all six runs have those three swings as this one's rolled to hot. Padres have grounded into three double plays. And off the glove of Miller, Torres is oh. in the game today. And Pagan strikes out. Middle of the eighth. And thrilled that there's nobody on base. He's grounded into two double plays. Five. Going back, Profar on, Grisham coming in, and Grisham got it. Jake peels off. Corona, or, uh... Day for the Phils. Game against Craig Stammen. Looking for it, and he makes a nice catch. Foul territory. Cradles it. Ooh. Off of Drew Pomerantz, two for four with two walk. As we be worse. Corona North with the glove. One last chance to add on for the Padres, a four run. He's got the split finger. You're going to see a lot of those. Strike three to Pham. Not huge. Right. But it would cost you. Back to back K's for Naris here in the ninth. Hoskins is due to lead off, then the pitcher spot and Herrera. Payoff pitch and ball four to Cronenworth. Naris thought he had that one too. Career, three homer games, both as an Oriole. That one kicks away from Real Muto. And ball four. Third walk of the day. Cronenworth aboard safely four times. In Other way. Kind of uncomfortable for Torres and not. Cronenworth has scored. Manny is on his way. Grisham will be extend their lead eight to one. When it rains it pours. Erickson Profar with his first four hit game as a Padre. And he hit. Naris grooved him one and he didn't miss it. A three run. Second in the big leagues for Webster Reva. Long, long time. And I've mentioned it earlier, but it's worth mentioning again. 68 on that fastball. He's got a curveball. It's scouting report. Brad Miller throws Myers out in the top of the ninth inning. He appeared in game one of this series in the eighth, too. And the fastball misses. So a leadoff wall. Like, I don't have anybody to pitch. You know how to throw. Nice. Now, number one in the ninth. A third string quarterback generally I know, I who it. exists I just hit into four. And Grisham lays out to make the catch. Reach. He makes the catch, and the Padres get friends as they busted open late today and beat the Phil.